What's up, you guys? It's your boy xman 87 here, and I am bringing you another Captain Marvel Legends review. And this time, we're covering Talos, who is labeled as the most cunning spy in the Scroll Empire. And let's take a look at him. Let's take a closer look here. And face sculpt this as well. This is... He looks sick, man. This is dope. The only thing I'm not sure about is... This chin, I, it, I don't know if it's just my figure. I didn't see another Talos to compare, but it looks like it's paint slop all over this, man. Like, I don't know. It looks like he's bleeding through his mouth or something. I, I don't know. But then again, look at his head. It's got these um patterns here, which resembles the um, comic book uh, scroll... Helmets, I guess you can call them. Uh, this is this is really nice. Look at the like these lines here. These almost look like scratches, but they're not. These wrinkles, I guess. The ear, the scroll ears. They got that. They got that down, which is really really good. Um, and the eyes too. Get a closer look at the eyes. And he. Wow. He looks really cool. He looks really cool. I'm sorry, I'm always like admiring like the head sculpt more than anything. And uh, if by looking at the sculpt of the rest of the body, it's just, you know, it's really nice. It's a brand new sculpt, 100% brand new. Um, and I always appreciate that. Um, this is. This is really nice. It's got this like almost shoulder, like this pauldron here, I guess. Uh, I don't know if this identifies his rank within the Scroll Empire, but I want, I want to know why it's on this side and not on this side. Um, it is different design on the arms. As you can see here, the patterns are different from where the purple is crawling towards. Uh, it's got this little metal looking gauntlet there i guess he's got the fingered gloves here but not here and he's got really long fingers too <laughs> he's got those arsenio hall type long fingers <laughs> you look like those uh oh man those alien hugger legs <laughs> it's 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 cool though man like it's i i want that alien feel in this figure because you know scrolls being you know a very uh a very popular alien race within the Marvel Universe. You want to get that alien feel. And this is a nice sculpt all around. It, it really is. I will say that the jacket does hinder the torso articulation. Um, what bothers me is when I move it forward, the tabs here, they, they, they come off. He does have an ab crunch. He really does. Uh, a lot of people thought at first he wasn't going to because I mean by looking at the pictures it just didn't look like he moved his torso at all but uh, it's a pliable material and he does have good back movement and good forward movement but unfortunately that's all covered by this and uh, man I wish they used a better material. This is where I wish they have like the, the soft goods material, like with Toy Biz when they use that pleather material uh, for ja uh, Gam Gambit's jacket. Um, Cause then you're just restricting and hindering the articulation and taking away from the figure. Because uh, just, it's never a good sign when that happens. Um, yeah, this this thing gets annoying. Let me try to tab this in place. So there it is. It's most likely going to untab. But uh, the leg movement is also a little, probably a little hindered from it. I'll see. Hmm. Let me just take this. Let me see if I could take this completely off. And I'll get a better judgment from there. This is the first time I'm taking it off. So. <clears throat> oh, wow. This is really hooked around. 
Hopefully I could get that back on. But just so that you see how he looks here without the jacket. Yeah, new sculpt. New sculpt all around. So to cover the articulation, head moves up, head moves down. There's some slight head pivot. Head moves left and right. Uh, I showed you the ab crunch, which is good range. And the arms, the shoulders move all around. They move this far up. Uh, double jointed elbows, really good double jointed elbows. I mean, look at that. He can hold the back of his neck, back of his head. That's that is really awesome. I appreciate that. That is great range. Uh, the wrist hinge and wrist moves side to side. Got the waist swivel. Uh, legs move. They spread that far out. So yeah, the his little coat does hinder it. Um, uh, thigh rotation here. So gonna get some good range. Uh, leg moves up, leg moves back a good amount. It's probably, so far, out of the figures I've reviewed, this one has the best leg movement, um, as far as moving back. Uh, I think I covered thigh swivel. If not, it does have a thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. The ankles move down, they move up, and they have an awesome ankle pivot. So that is super dope and um this guy has no accessory other than the uh build a figure piece which i don't remember off the top of my head and i wish he came with something maybe like a, a you know a gun or i don't know maybe they didn't want to include anything because it could contain the spoiler in the movie which you know i totally understand i don't want to be spoiled either let me see if i could put this thing back on but i am I'm getting super excited for this movie. Uh, the more I play with these figures, the more I really want to see the movie. Um, yeah, let me take this. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to put this back on. But uh, Talos is not meant to be an army builder since he is a single character. But, uh, I mean, it's toys you could use your imagination. And I'm pretty sure there's uh, going to be a, quite a few folks that are going to army build this. And you guys know I'm an army builder, but I, I only do it if it makes sense. Um, if it's a single character like this, Talos, I am not going to army build him. Oh, I let's scroll. Because <laughs> um, I feel that uh, Hasbro will release an MCU two-pack of scrolls that's going to be make for an, ar you know, an easy army build or, uh, you know, they'll probably release a, you know, a scroll. They could do a scroll Creed two-pack like they made back in the day, you know, uh, comic or MCU version, so we'll wait and see, see what happens, but other than that, man, this, this, this figure is really nice, and 2019 is already looking good for Marvel Legends, and this is the point in time where <laughs> Hasbro's just gonna unload all the Legends on us, and, oh man, <laughs> oh, our wallets are gonna lose a lot of weight, so, yep, Talos, of the scrolls let me know what you think what you think of the figure um i'll leave a link in the description for my facebook fan book page and my instagram so you can check out the photos uh you know link to big big bad toy store so you can uh pre-order your set um and leave a like comment share and subscribe turn on the notifications if you subscribe and i'll see you guys later on the next review peace